guys and welcome to today's video if you don't do so already hit that subscribe button because I upload new videos every single week um, my channel is full of just like health fitness nutrition tips I try to just share with you guys all of my struggles on my journey as I learn things as well so I keep it real and raw uh, today's video is going to be about apple cider vinegar so this is like my homie I love it I use it every single day uh, this is probably like oh my gosh I don't know how many bottles I bought in my lifetime but like a lot but the exciting part is they come in pills now so that's great I absolutely love that because a lot of people like can't handle the shots of it rightfully so they're disgusting uh, so anyways there's options but specifically I'm going to talk about the benefits and just weird ways to use apple cider vinegar also, if you're interested, head on over to my Instagram, at MacTopa. I share a bunch of tips and tricks with you guys. I share a lot of fitness stuff, definitely nutrition. You'll see a lot of vegan taco bowls because that's my jam. Love those. So anyways, hit that follow button and then uh, stay tuned. The most common thing I use apple cider vinegar for is salad dressing. So I do one part of the apple cider vinegar, one part of the oil, I do some stevia, some spices, and honestly, it's amazing. I think in the mix of the stevia with the bitterness of the apple cider vinegar is like the perfect mixture of like sweet, spicy, tangy. Anyways, I add hot peppers on my salad. You know me, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I am like salad queen, love that. So definitely my favorite salad. And it also keeps me full for longer. Uh, studies have shown that apple cider vinegar actually is supposed to keep you full for longer. So I think just adding that as my dressing definitely helps. So highly recommend. The next thing that I use it for is my face as a face toner. It honestly works really well. I love it. So I do one part apple cider vinegar, two parts water. If you have sensitive skin, definitely add more water. Um, and then I dip it in a little face pad and I wipe it all over and then I moisturize after. Uh, it does have a tingly feeling. If that tingly feeling is too intense, then definitely add more water. Like do not hesitate. Um, start at one point and then you can always lessen and lessen it. But I use it uh, a couple times a week and I love, love it. And of course it's inexpensive because uh, all that face product stuff can get a little pricey. The next thing that I use it for is a sore throat. So when I feel it coming on, you know what I mean, like when you start to feel like, ooh, my throat's gonna hurt, full throttle in like three days, so you try to like nip it in the butt. Um, so I actually, I've done a couple things. So I've either like gargled it with mixed with warm water and just like, uh, that was a horrible representation. I might cut that out, I might leave that in, not too sure. But anyways, warm water mixed with apple cider vinegar, gargle it up and then like spit it out. Um, I've also just taken like a normal shot of apple cider vinegar with lots of water after and it just it kills all the bad bacteria going down your throat. So in pill form, it wouldn't really work because it's killing the bad bacteria in your stomach because that's where it's going. But the liquid form as it goes down, that's why like a lot of people say that it burns a lot. So that makes sense because it's burning all the bad stuff going down. So anyways, highly suggest using the liquid when your throat is starting to hurt a little bit. For those of you that don't know this trick already, I'm going to share this one with you to catch fruit flies. I use a cup of apple cider vinegar, I put it in like a water bottle, and then I add just a little bit of dish soap and it catches them like almost immediately. I think because of this, like the scent is so potent that they're just like buzz, psh. Anyways, that was a great representation of flies getting killed. So highly suggest doing that and leaving that on your counter since that's going to be the season soon of fruit flies, unfortunately. The next tip is for my steak lovers or meat lovers, I guess, to use it as a marinade. Very common is to put like wine and soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, uh, garlic, like pepper, salt, all that stuff, and just like marinate it for the day. And it, apparently it gives like a really nice like sweet and sour flavor. I've actually seen a lot of people do it. I haven't actually tasted it, but they say like the best way to describe it is that it's like a sweet and sour. So I feel like that would be really good for like chicken and stuff like that, chicken and steak specifically. Uh, but anyways, very very popular so I recommend doing that if you are a marinade kind of person. The next way that you can use it is to wash fruits and veggies to get rid of all the bad bacteria on there. I personally love that. You can put it just like in your sink with some water and then add like a cup of it and then just like scrub it off. It does kill like the bad bacteria so it's like a really really like cheap and easy way to use it. Um, I personally love it and then just especially too I'm a huge fan of going like markets in the summer and like you don't really know where it's been or like all even dirt and stuff like that. It just helps generally like clean it better than using like soap or something. I don't know do people even use soap to like wash their veggies I feel like that's weird 
And I'm sorry if it's not weird, I'm sorry that I'm talking crap about it, but anyways, you should switch to apple cider vinegar because that's the way to go. The next way that I've used apple cider vinegar is to treat acne. So I actually just dipped one of the Q-tips in like a little bowl of it and I just put it on the spot. So it's definitely like a spot treatment um, and I left it overnight and it was really good. It actually calmed the redness, which I thought w it would be opposite, but it worked phenomenal. Uh, especially when you feel like a pimple starting, I feel like that's when it like works the best because it like cuts the bacteria before it continues to grow. So anyways, highly recommend doing that. Okay guys, so that concludes the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I want to start sharing like more tips and tricks and stuff on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm trying to tell myself that it doesn't always have to be like this extravagant video that's like an all day thing. Um, there is a lot of stuff that I've learned over the years and things like that that I get questions about that I just assume everybody knows and I'm like, oh, okay, like this is a common thing. And I love apple cider vinegar so I wanted to share these little things with you because some of them are kind of odd. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I, it lets me know. Um, and then, yes, I will see you in my next video.